Welcome to Digimon Pack Openings. Uh, We're going to open Blast Ace and the trial deck that it comes with. Um, most of these cards are old. Uh, I don't think there's anything particularly good about these. Uh, the new stuff is basically the Imperial Ace, the Vmon promo, Ukamon, Davis, and uh, the new Tamer. Uh, I plan to play Vimon and Davis in armor deck and probably Imperial Ace in armor as well. I think that would be interesting to run. Um, so we got three boxes of Blast Ace uh, that we're going to open today. trying to open it without uh, doing too much damage to the box because I like to keep the boxes. But we do have a sealed one for collection. Uh, first, the training boosts. These were worth 5 bucks each when it first released, so that's like half the pack's value right there. Uh, I normally like to keep these box toppers, but we'll open them for now uh, since I have a box as a backup. Uh, this is the egg. I think most of the eggs are good here. I think the Baumon's the good one. Uh, Tokomon. I I'm not sure if that is played in the vaccine deck. I don't think it is. And uh, Morphomon, okay. Um, one of these uh, promo survey pack cards are worth like 20 something bucks, I think. The Diabormon Ace and the Rusty Tyranno are worth some good money. Okay, oh, okay. Never mind, that is not a poll. Uh, we got Ty and we got Angelmon. I don't think any of these bulk is particularly good. I think Wave of Reliability is okay. Uh, Ebamon is uh, pretty good in the pre-release, but not insane. Uh, so Rapimon is okay in yellow vaccine. Uh, Ikakumon and EG. Uh, okay, so that's two rares. Two packs, no SR. I believe we are guaranteed uh, one alt art. I am not sure about, I, I think it's either one all art and one SR or just uh, either all art or SR. Joe and EG, so that's two EGs. I think between three boxes, I should have a Fenrir Lugamon deck, uh, Digi Police, and Yellow Vaccine decently sorted out. Uh, Marching Fishes is very, very good. Uh, this Gesselmon is not bad. Uh, Tamamon. Six packs, no SR is uh, pretty bad for pull rates. That was five. Should be an SR in this one. Uh, this is the top three packs of both sides. There's the SR. Uh, 
Fenrir Lugamon. Uh, Fenrir Lugamon is decently expensive. Um, Pokemon, uh, Egg is pretty good too. Okay, six packs, one SR. Uh, Edamon and Plessimon. And a wave of Emissary. Emissary of Hope is not bad. Oh, there's a secret rare, uh, War Greymon. Uh, this card dropped substantially. It was a $20 card. I think it's now like a $10 card. And it's only been, what, it's Monday? So three days since release. But there was the secret rare. Let's see if we are getting an all art. Uh, Numamon and Satomi is a good combination. Uh, the Gold Ramon looks like it was SR, but it's not. Uh, there is the SR. Uh, SR rookies. Uh, Patamon is probably the best SR rookie to pull. Or maybe second best. I think best is Agumon, but that's just the Greymon hype. Uh, this Dominemon is actually very good. Retaliation, Blocker, and Save is very good. The Blocker Inheritable comes up a lot. Uh, Zudo Ace, I am definitely looking for this card. Uh, it is something like $3 now, but I'm still looking for like 4 to 8 so it's good to have. Honestly, between, I think each deck needs about 8 SRs, so between three boxes, I may not actually get the full set, play set for all three of these new decks. Uh, Cargo Dramon is good. Hauluga, oh, okay, uh, Lilymon Ace. This is like the second best one. I definitely prefer to see the aces over the rookies, but some of these rookies are insane. Uh, I just think the aces have more uh, combo potential or uh, the aces fit the current already uh, old meta decks better. So we got 10 packs left for the first box. Okay, that is one of the best alt arts to hit. I think this is like a $20 card. Uh, alt art Agumon. I was honestly looking for regular art, but we'll take it. My problem with alt arts is I don't really collect them. 
so most of the time they end up being sold or uh, stuck in a binder. And there's the Magna Ace. I think this is one of the best ones. Uh, Zudo, Magna, and Lilymon are the best ones, right? I am trying to get uh, Metal Greymon so I can play. Uh, I can throw it in Red Hybrid and see if it's any good. Genai. Uh, I think Genai is not bad. Uh, the Devimon is actually very good. Uh, Rosemon, TK. It's always good to get the Tamers. I think Ty is the worst one out of the uh, original cast in this set because all eight Digi Dustins are in here, and I think Ty is probably the worst one. Uh, you would still play the black Ty over the red one, uh, so it's not very likely that you would end up playing the red Ty. Uh, Palmon. That's my rookie SR. I think that is all of them. Oh, there's the Lugamon. Let's see if we have any more SRs in there. Uh, the S, the secret rare is gone. The alt art is gone. Oops, skull gray. It's unusual for me to do uh, physical card openings. Um, normally I do digital card openings with Master Duel and uh, Pokemon, uh, but PTCGO got closed down and I still had a couple of hundred packs, so that's rough. Uh, the Goldramon always, uh, that Goldramon always makes me think it's an SR. Okay, uh, that was the first box. We got Lugamon, Palmon, and Agumon as our rookies. Agumon with the alt art. And then our aces is Magna, Lilimon, and Zudamon. And then we have Patamon as our rookie as well. Uh, so, three aces, four rookies, the secret rare War Gray, secret rare, secret rare War Gray, and the Fenwar Luga. Pretty good first box. Unfor unfortunately, unlike Pokemon, it's not like the uh, pack arts are worth anything, but I'm gonna hold on to them just in case. Alright, on to the next box. Okay, on to the second box. Oh, 
always feel like I cut the card here. Okay, this one came out first. Let's see. We are looking for Rusty Tyranno. Uh, Shadramon. Shadramon. I mean, I guess he's played in Virus Imperial. Ooh, Coralmon. Uh, I think the Coralmon will be worth something. Um, same thing, training boosts. Just good to have a set. Uh, I realistically think I only need three. I don't really see the point in opening the fourth box. Just because I want to have a seal box. Uh, I went to pre-release and the first, uh, the guy next to me got three SRs and a uh, secret rare and the guy to the left of me got uh, two SRs and an alt art and I was like, my six packs gotta be scuffed here, there's nothing I can really get. I got one SR, but it was the alt art Fenrir Lugamon, uh, I think at the time it was worth 60 bucks and the person offered me uh, 100% TCG for it, so I took it. Uh, now it is worth 44, but no regrets. Uh, to be honest, pre cards drop rapidly after pre-release, so to be able to get 100% TCG on something is fairly good, but Fenrir Luga all art would be one of the ones that retain value, so there's an argument for both ways. Uh, Brigadramon. It seems like Brigadramon is fairly decent, uh, fairly difficult to pull as well. So I'm not too sure I'll have enough Brigadramon for uh, the deck either. So being able to build all three new decks out of four boxes seems like it's gonna be rough. Uh, Satsuki followed by Numamon is always good. Beta Holy crap! Uh, I got the Ghost Rare Imperial. Uh, this, although it is, this is just a lottery card, right? Uh, it's not. It's worth maybe like 250 bucks. So I got the value of the five, uh, the four boxes back. Maybe I should get it graded, but. This is not the this is not the max rarity of the card, but it is awesome to pull the ghost rare card uh, out of a uh, box. I don't even think it is by case, um, because you can get one of the English exclusive all arts. Uh, this is slightly more expensive than those, but yeah, it's not max rarity, but still a cool card to have. Uh, the Max Rarity Imperial is the Ultimate Cup one, I believe, or the Evolution Cup one. I think that is a Zudo right there, nice, Zudomon. So now I have three Zudomon. I plan to play Zudomon in the most unexpected deck ever, uh, play Zudomon in Royal Knights. People are not expecting that coming. So let's say I have reduced cost of, uh, Let's say I have reduced cost of 11. I play Zudomon and then I play All Force or vice versa. And then I can bounce a big guy. And there's the Lilymon. Wow. Uh, hit after hit. That's very good. Unfortunately, though, the bottom of this box is going to be pretty crappy. Um, so Imperial is considered a secret. Uh, I'm not sure if it's considered the alt art or the secret, but we will see. Uh, nothing special there. Just basically bulk. Although I think Gulmon could be a fun new top end for uh, 
Millilith Dex or Millith Dex. Greymon and Kakumon. The Ghost Rare Imperial is not as good as the Ghost Rare, uh, like, Alphamon or the Ghost Rare Omnimon. It's not even a playable card. <laughs> it's just one of those cool to have situations. Unfortunately, it's not the, uh, <laughs> it's not the ultimate cup cool to have, but it is what it is. Uh, the last sold was, last sold was, I think, 250 bucks, 249 uh, don't think I'll actually be able to get that, even if I try to sell it. But that basically did make these boxes free. Mm, TK, Rosemon. Uh, I don't... I'm not actually sure if there's a Kyrie in here. I'm not sure if there's a Kyrie or a Matt in here. Uh, but we will see. Unfortunately, I only got two of the demos decks, which is not bad. It's one of those... Okay, now we know. Uh, this is the second most expensive alt art uh, after uh, Satsuki Otohime. So, Yuji is very expensive. Uh, I think this is like a $40 card. Maybe 50, because Fenrir Luga right now is 45. And it's always good to pull that. Uh, I mean, I'm not looking to build max rarity. Oh, okay, another hit. Metal Greymon. Uh, the Metal Ace, I was going to run in Red Hybrid to see if uh, it would be any good. I mean, I don't really mind giving them the overflow. Uh, being able to delete something in uh, for 6k is not bad. There's a lot of blockers I can delete with that. And then most of the time, uh, Red Hybrid is sitting on champions anyway. So I don't think they're expecting to get blasted on. Uh, this is like the 4th or 5th tie. Uh, at the same time, it is like the third or fourth Cargo Dramon. Um, so, Cargo Dramon is not bad. But we need more Brigade Dramon. There's the regular EG. Uh, there's Joe. The Pokemon Egg is good. I'll be very surprised if in four boxes I don't have a playset of Pokemon Eggs. I mean, realistically, in terms of deck building, I think buying the singles is probably the better way to go. But you can always randomly hit a lottery card. Or two lottery cards. That second box is fire. Okay, Magna Ace again. Wow. I'm not intending to build, like, uh, Vaccine Yellow is in on my radar, but it's not, like, my first priority. <laughs> uh, my first priority is, uh, building out the new armor deck. So, I want one more Zudamon, I guess. There's no rare Gururu Ace, right? Oh, hey, another Fenrir Lugamon. That's nice. So, we got half of the Lugamon set done. I think this good boy just likes me. Because I pulled, uh, I got the, the first all art of the set I pulled was the Fenrir Lugamon all art. Ooh. Wait, wait, what, 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 what? Uh. Commandromon all art. Hmm, that's so weird. It looks like it's cut in half on the screen. Uh, Commandromon all art. So that is 
two alt arts and a secret rare? What the heck? Actually, I think, um... I think the way it works is Imperial Dramon count, doesn't count as a slot, or it doesn't count as your secret rare. Or it doesn't count as secret rare or alt art, so it is possible for you to hit that. But three alt arts in a box? Holy crap. This is a cracked out box. Uh, okay. And then you get, and then I also get the three, uh, I also get the three best aces. This is probably got to be one of the best BT14 uh, boxes ever. Uh, ooh, Patamon. Okay, Patamon. I think the camera probably can be better. I mean, I mostly use this for oh, Soul Luga is okay. Okay, that was a very fire box. I'm gonna put away these pack arts. I have a friend that collects empty boxes. Gonna save that for him. Push away all this stuff. Okay, recap of what we pulled. Uh, Patamon, Commandramon, Fenrir Luga, uh, Magna Ace. So these three are the best, right? Magna Ace, well I got four aces, but Magna Ace, Lilymon Ace, Zudamon Ace are the best one. And then uh, Brigadramon here. And then we got the three all arts. We got, well, actually I don't think that, no, it is all art because it's ghosts. Uh, so we got the ghost rare and we got two uh, all arts here. That is insane. So total 10 poles. Uh, probably some of the best 10 poles out there. Um, probably going to put that in a sleeve or put that in a box topper and then... Uh, put that in a box topper and then see if I can get it graded. Uh, the EG I will probably sell. Alright. I'll be right back before I open up this box. Alright, so that box has got to be the winner here. Uh, no questions asked, that box definitely is the winner here. Um, they should have came from one case, so I am not expecting uh, I am not expecting to pull any other insane stuff like uh, English exclusive alt art from the box. Uh, Miss Timon is pretty good. Uh, Dia Bormon Ace. Um, this card I think is worth like 10 bucks. It's worth a decent amount. And it's not hollow. That's kind of unfortunate. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, still money where you can get it. Uh, and then the trainings. Alright, this is the last box. Uh, so the interesting thing here is <laughs> I collect uh, sealed booster boxes and then maybe I'll sell it one day. Uh, hopefully Digimon will still be around when my kids are old and I'm into Digimon hoping it's a uh, 
hoping it's a new Pokemon, basically. Although the first Digimon card game died horribly. Uh, so, uh, that being said, I have one, at least one of each of the uh, booster boxes. So, I uh, have at least one of each of the booster boxes. So I'm, I was hoping I'd just sell them later on as like a full collection. Um, that being said, how insane would it have been if uh, whoever bought it 10 years later uh, pulled that box right there? Uh, nothing important. So we got two Zudos, two Lily Aces, uh, two Magna Aces. Uh, we don't have any of the regular Agumon SRs. Uh, we got one Palmon SR. I am, so I'm looking for Agumon SR. And I am looking for, uh, one more Fenrir Lugamon. Brigadromon is good. Considering the Imperial Ramon basically paid for my box, I probably should just play, uh, I'm gonna keep this one here. Uh, considering the, the Imperial Dramon paid for the box, I should just open the last one as well. And see from there. Okay, Metal Grey, followed by a Greymon. That's always nice. I don't normally do uh, physical pack openings, but Digimon is the only physical card uh, that I collect. Hey, another EG all art. Uh, this box is looking pretty good too. Rosemon and TK. Feels like that is a very common combo. You know the very awkward thing about <laughs> Digimon cards is the rarities go from like secret rare to alt art or alt art secret rare and then uh, <laughs> uncommon. <laughs> I think you get one uncommon per box or one uncommon per pack or, uh, or is it two? Technically, rare is one and a half. I think the older sets, you might get one uncommon. So, sometimes uncommon is rarer than the rare. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go, regular EG. Uh, let's see, how many uncommons we get? We get no, we get three uncommons. So, I was wrong. I remember back then, uh, Demi, Demi Merrimon was like $10, like, two months ago, when, uh, before uh, RBO1 came out, Demi Mero was like, very expensive. Uh, okay, here's my second Command Dramon. Um, I was... I'm not counting the alt art one, but I think this is the second Command Dramon, so that's nice. Uh, Satsuki... Probably okay. I think it's weird that I'm filming it in reverse like this, but this is how uh, online Digimon is played against each other, so that's the setup I'm using. Cargo Dramon is okay. I think that is enough for a playset of Cargo Dramon. This one is, uh, the heck? Okay, this pack is kind of crimped out. Hopefully there isn't anything good in this pack. We shall see. Uh, Patamon, not bad. Hmm, seems like this box is kind of damaged in the corner. 
Luckily it doesn't damage the cards, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, Nullamon. has been kind of disappointing. On the other hand, it's very hard to follow up that last box. Uh, let's see. We have five hits so far. Uh, the SR already out of the way, or the Alt Art already out of the way. Uh, Hell Luga and Zudo. That is my fourth Zudo. I won one in a uh, local tournament, so that is pretty good. Uh, that's my fourth Zudo. Uh, I mean, realistically, I don't foresee myself using four Zudos in a deck. Blast Ace is good as a surprise. Oh, hey, another War Greymon. Uh, technically, the Andromon is the better one now, but it is what it is. It's crazy that the Alt Art Rare cards are more expensive than the Alt Art Secret Rare cards. Uh, actually, I think the Alt Art Secret Rare. No, no, because the rare, the most expensive non-exclusive card is hey another Lilymon. The most expensive Alt Arts is uh, Satsuki and EG, right? So, and those are just rare. So they automatically are more expensive than the Alt Secret. The problem is the War Greymon got a lot of hype and it was fairly disappointing. Cargo Dramon and Ty. Uh, another EG and Joe. So it seems like there is no Matt, Sora, or uh, so we're missing Matt, Sora, Izzy, and Kyrie. I think they'll be the next set, probably. Another Magna. So these boxes, I got three boxes full of aces. I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna get the, uh, <laughs> I kind of wanna get the rookies now. <laughs> okay, so that is all the aces. Uh, three ace of oh, three of each ace. And three of uh, three of each ace, and I think three Patamons. That's pretty good. Uh, Genai, Devimon. Now the question is, do I open the last box? Because if I don't find this one satisfying, we can always open the last box. Uh, to be honest, I think the boxes have been very big hits. <coughs> Nothing there. Ah, uh, uh, what the hey? Let's. The thing with Blast Aces, I got these boxes fairly cheap for roughly uh, 65 each with a lot of haggling. So, I don't expect to be able to get them again at that cheap for a while. Because this is probably going to be one of the most open sets. Uh, that being said, might as well. It's my first box opening for Digimon, uh, and for any physical card game ever, so we might as well make it worth it. Okay. Let's see if we can pull. Uh, I think we want the Bukomon, right? Bukomon is the most expensive one. Or the uh, Balmon. Uh, oh, Balmon. Kind of like I call that one. Uh, 
We'll take it. We'll take it. It's good. And then, uh, uh, Skull Nightmon. I think this is worth like 10 bucks right now, which is really awkward, but it is what it is. Uh, I think before we open the last box, do a quick recap of the previous box. Uh, Angemon, the Magna, Angemon, the Zulimon, and the Zuromon. These three are basically in the last three boxes. Let's see if we will see them this again. Um, I got two of these. So I need another Brigadramon, and I need another Commandramon. Uh, and then I think Patamon, I need a fourth one, but realistically, it's probably okay. So that is five hits, nine hits. So the good box came with an extra hit. So that means the uh, Imperial was probably a three hit. Or I guess I should call it a uh, case hit. Because that was a hit for the case. Not exact, and they didn't attribute it to the box. Which is very good for me. Ooh, Lugamon, first pole, very good. Uh, this box, I'm hoping for all rookies. <laughs> uh, I think I have enough aces this time. Uh, maybe I need one more metal gray. But I think that is all of them. I kind of decided I wanted to film this pack opening because the uh, RB011, I got three boxes. First first card I pulled was uh, the Proximum on Alt Art, in which case I was like, Wow, I didn't think my luck was that good. Uh, that being said... Uh, ooh, Gomamon. I like Gomamon. He is one of my favorite rookies in the original. Probably my favorite rookie total uh, in all of the Digimons. But yeah, Gomamon is awesome. Uh, not a very expensive card, but I'm not even sure it's a meta card, but it's nice when you pull one of your favorite Digimons. Hey, uh, Third War Grey! <laughs> well, uh, I guess I have a full set for Ultimate Cup now, <laughs> so that is good. Uh, that is good. Can't complain. I think most of the people I know at locals bought uh, bought their maybe like they split a case with somebody so they have six box uh, six boxes which is a lot. And put Gage on. Good thing I didn't buy the Zudo Ace when uh during pre-release when it was like ten dollars each. I was very uh. Well, the good thing was there wasn't four Zudo Aces available at my pre-release. Hey, another Fenrir Luga. So I got three of these now. Um, <clears throat> there wasn't a, there wasn't enough of these uh, Zudo Aces to go around during my pre-release because when I got the forty bucks out of the uh, Fenrir Luga alt art, I was thinking about buying the Zudo Ace. I think now it's worth like three dollars, which, to be honest, for a Digimon SR is not bad. <laughs> Uh, hey, EG again. EG and Joe. I think we have gotten one of everything. Except the uh, alt arts. Ooh, Patamon alt art. 
I think this one is fairly expensive. Patamon All Art? Uh, I like it. I like the Patamon All Art better than I like the Gomamon All Art. But that being said, Gomamon, favorite Digimon. Platinum's Numa and Mimi. Didn't really want to open this last box, but yeah. So now that guy that I bought the boxes from has gotten a has now has a uh, he now has a longtime business partner. So right now we've pulled about five. Uh, we already pulled the alt art and the SR, so we are looking for basically aces and hopefully more rookies. Uh, that's kind of it's kind of rough. I opened the first half of the box and already pulled the alt art and the SR, so there's not much to look for forward to in the second half. Uh, Skull Greymon, Leomon. So I believe the thing in the cases is it's one every case you are bound to get a some sort of chase card. So either an English exclusive alt art, the Goldramon keeps uh, bamboozling me is what's going on. And I'm starting to think that my uh, table is kind of slanted because my cards keeps dropping off on the side. Palmon, that's good. That is a rookie. I will take it. It's nice to start pulling rookies in the box after uh, you've been through two boxes of uh, after you've been through two boxes of aces. I'm starting to think those are the only aces. Yeah, because there's no Garudamon, Garumon, or uh, any of the other ultimates. Angie Woman would be cool. Uh, okay, another Patamon. So, two Patamons. So, I have five Patamons now? The thing about me is I play low rarity Digimon, so... <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and then, because my boxes came late, uh, I ended up playing uh, Royal Knights. Uh for my locals the day of release. Huh, the Blast Ace looks like it's coming out. Uh, looks like it was textured, but it's not. So I ended up playing uh, Royal Knights. And apparently, <laughs> people hate that deck. Especially the uh, stall version that I play with all the Holy Flames. So there's that. Uh, Goldramon. Uh, Goldramon, Tokomon. I think that is all the poles. We might get one in the last four. We might get another SR, but there's been pretty much no aces in this box, which is interesting. Uh, there's Commandramon. It's good to see that. Uh, I think that is our third one or fourth one. So that is good. Three packs left, probably no SRs in them. But yeah, like I said, that bottom half is scuffed. Uh, no last pack magic uh, coming up. That's the problem with Digimon. Like, you kind of know what's in it already if you pulled enough. So probably no last pack magic. Uh, 
Oh, there's the Agumon. Uh, okay, I'll take that as the last pack magic, even though we have one more pack left. Uh, but yes, this is basically answers my prayers. It is a all-rookie box. It's very nice. Uh, and I get a Lugamon along with it. And yeah. So, uh, recap on this stack. Uh, Agumon, Commandramon, Patamon, Palmon, Patamon again, five rookies, and Gomamon, and uh, Lugamon. All rookie uh, set. All rookie box right here. Uh, Gomamon, Lugamon, <laughs> Agumon, Commandramon, Patamon, Palmon, and then the standard. I'm surprised I haven't gotten an Andromon. Uh, there's your tarot cards, basically uh, nine. Uh, nine poles, so nine poles from each. So that is thirty-seven hits total. Okay, uh, quick recap before we end. That was the last box. Uh, going back, this was the second to last box. Uh, four Magnus. So all four aces, right? I think this is all the aces. All four aces. Uh, War Grey. Patamon. I just realized my camera is not that great. Commandramon, uh, EG, Brigadramon. So I'm gonna need to trade for some Brigadramons, uh, and maybe Commandramon. So that's good. Uh, so that was the third box. to remove the training cards out uh, and then the second box got the ghost rare followed by two alt arts and then the full set of the aces and then Fenrir Luga, Commandramon and Patamon is not bad this is a basically no rookie box uh, you only got the Patamon, and I guess you can consider the Commandramon. And our first box, which was somewhat disappointing. Uh, Patamon, Agumon. Oh, actually, I think this is mo this is pretty half and half, right? I think this is. Three of each of the aces. Uh, Fenrir Luga and Wargrey. Three aces and four rookies. This is a good spread. I like the first box. Alright. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know which box you think was the best. Uh, I like the Agumon alt art, um, but realistically, price-wise, obviously, the Imperial was the best, but uh, the good thing about the Imperial is it comes with two alt arts. So technically, I got three alt arts in a box, which is insane. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. The Ultimate Chi signing out.